All right, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube world, Matt here with Pace Guitar up here again. And up on the desk, man, again, my BC Rich Mockingbird ST. This guitar is awesome. We shot a pre-pre-pre uh, pre video. What we're going to do right now is we're going to start yanking stuff out, including this Floyd Rose right here. We're going to take it out. We're actually going to be putting it into my white BC Rich Gunslinger, along with the nut. We have the tuners. Pretty much everything's going to come out of this guitar so we can get ready and prepped for paint. Like I said before, we're going to yank the tuners out. That's what Ron is doing right now. These are Grover Imperials. And uh, as much as I hate to do a shameless plug, these tuners will be on eBay sometime this week. So if you're looking for a set and you subscribe or like our channel, man, go bid on them while you have the chance. Now it's just time to get that pesky nut off of there. We're also going to be taking this truss rod cover off. And Ron and the boys here are going to cut one out of mirrored pit guard material. That's going to be awesome. All right, so we remove the tuners. And there's where the bridge was. There's the uh, there's the actual cavity, and that's coming out now. And Ron says these are good parts. That 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 that's a good thing. So that means that they can come out and go uh, straight into the other guitar. And it is actually, believe it or not, whoa whoa whoa! Look at that, a Floyd Rose. One of the things that I did not like about the way that they uh, that they engineered this particular guitar was this strap button was right here. I never understood why that was like that. I've seen other Mockingbirds where the strap button is more here, and that's actually what I want to do. So what we're going to be doing right now, I'm going to focus in on this, if I can. There we go. We're going to fill this hole. Do the best we can to repair the finishes. Obviously, this is a trans purple guitar. And we're going to move it to somewhere in this area here. I just I, I feel a little bit better about that, just because you've got a lot more body to grab a hold of there than you do right here, plus in the bevel. For me, that, that just spells a recipe for disaster for having that thing give way. And then all of a sudden, you lose your guitar and you're in here for a lot more lot more work. So the way you do that is through little groovy pieces of wood. And a little tap, tap, tappy. That's right, a little tap -arino. This is one of the things that I love about Ron and the guys here, man. They are so meticulous about every little thing. He's actually taking and following the contour with a razor blade to make sure that it actually, when they get done doing whatever it is you're going to have to do to it to make it blend into the back of the body, you really won't be able to tell. All right, so before we rip the pickups out, Ron and I just wanted to make sure that we knew how everything was was going. So this will be a nice little video, uh, a video record of what is going on with the guitar. This this right here, this pot is the volume for the bridge pickup. Obviously, you've got your standard three-way switch. This is actually a pretty good switch. This is the volume control for the neck pickup. This is a master tone for the guitar, which we're actually going to be replacing with this little doodad right here, which is actually a blend control, and I'll explain that in a little bit. We have the five-way varitone switch, which is going to be replaced with Big D Guitar's six-way varitone switch. This right here is a coil tap for the bridge pickup. This is a coil tap for the neck pickup. And then this last switch takes these pickups out of phase, which is very, very cool sounding. So back to this little guy right here in the varitone knob. Whenever I do different uh, variations of tone through this switch, this is going to be a blend control that will allow me to blend in the original sound versus this sound. So that's where we're taking this guitar, which, if you ask me, is a whole nother level. All right, so here we are. White BC Rich Gunslinger up on the desk right here. So what we're going to be doing, because we've discovered that this nut is the exact same nut that came out of the other Mockingbird. And uh, they are both the BR3 nut, which is the Korean Floyd, which is kind of weird. That's sort of a sort of a bummer because you've got a real Floyd Road, a real Floyd Rose bridge, but you don't have a real Floyd Rose nut on that guitar. But that's okay. It's still better than this bridge right here. So we're going to be taking that out and dropping in the new Floyd. Ronnie's already taken measurements, so it's just a matter of getting it done. Ron's removing that uh, cavity plate there. We're going to dig into this Floyd Rose tremolo. I want to kind of show you guys how I have mine set up. This is really cool here. So we can get like a little aerial shot. But uh, yeah, those cavities are good. I love having four springs in there because 
you can see this piece of wood right here. Excuse me, my, my, my reach is a little out. You can see this piece of wood right here and there's a little bit of glue on there. That's because I have my Floyd's block. Now one thing, speaking of blocks, I want you to notice the difference between the block on this one and the block on the one that's in the guitar. Look at how much sturdier this one is and the quality of the metal. I really think this is going to improve the tone and that's what Ron is telling me is that this block is better metal, the bridge is better metal and that's going to give me some better sustain out of this guitar. I think it's only a matter of time before I do my other gunslinger. But yeah, I love having the the four springs and the bridge block. It just it keeps everything going and helps it stay in tune. Ron's got both in his hand. This is the Floyd Rose Special. This is the Floyd Rose. Now, in ju I just told you the quality of the blocks was crazy. You can see it. This is like what they call pop metal. This is the same thing that Wawa pedals, the chassis that hold the Wawa circuit together. This is the same type of metal they're made out of. This is much better steel. This bridge weighs a heck of a lot less than this one does, and that block is, is really the majority of the weight. It's just incredible. So I, like I said, I can only imagine how much better sustain I'm gonna get with having that bridge in the guitar. Okay, so the next step is to change what they call the claw. And of course, uh, Ron says the most annoying part of this whole deal is having to fill those holes. And uh, I can see why. But it's all worth it. It's all worth it. Got the uh, latest album from the the great Ace Frehley on here in the background as we uh, rock and roll through this uh, transition. Yeah, all right. So that's that's one thing you really kind of have to do because the holes on the uh, the original claws that come with the Korean Floyds and things like that, the hole spacing between here and here is a lot different than it is on on this here. It's just a it's a tad bit wider, you know. So Ron's had to fill the holes and then. Uh, you know, we're having to re-drill them. And then, so, and another, another thing Ron noticed was that the holes that were drilled in this guitar to begin with were drilled a little too deep, so we won't run that same course this time around as well. So now what Ron's doing now is we're soldering that ground from the pickup back to the claw, which is good. It helps eliminate that 60 cycle hum that you'll get, which is real nasty. As we get this thing kind of in here, I'm gonna focus in on those fine tuners and the screws in the back. But the, the fine tuners, I don't have the I don't have the special to show you what's going on. But the fine tuners here, uh, I don't know if you can really see it. I'm reaching blindly here, but they have like a little bevel to them. The other ones are sort of flat. There's just a lot of little things. You know, these pieces here look a lot tougher, and obviously the the saddles, the little pieces inside that actually clamp down to the strings with the screw may very well be the same. I know that these pieces here were interchangeable, but there's definitely a lot of difference between the Floyd Rose and the Floyd Rose Special. There she is, baby. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,